I don't have anybody in front of me helping me to lead. And to have the type of storytellers here who are thinking about storytelling in non-traditional ways, that is incredibly valuable to us. I found my people. I knew they were out there, and I knew that they were hidden in studios and labs and academic institutions. There was no fabric to weave them all together. FOST is the best, most innovative, forward-thinking pioneers of storytelling come together. I found myself hungry to find other people who were taking risks and innovating at the cutting edge. And that's the inspiration for starting the future of storytelling. Charlie explained to us this vision that was very influenced by his career tra trajectory. There was whisperings of this thing called future storytelling. We had lots of meetings with lots of vision, really grand vision that we got more and more excited about. I was like, I have to be here. I have to get my hands into this. First year was so exciting. Everyone's like, oh, Staten Island? We're going to Staten Island? And you know, they arrived by ferry and are totally blown away from the get-go. It was immediately obvious we were gonna do it again. It was intoxicating. One of the other things that we care a lot about is the immersive, interactive parts of FOST. For the strings! Everybody here has an important voice. Everybody is an actively engaged participant. All of Snug Harbor Campus is there to play in and to participate in. You go to your roundtable sessions, you go to your workshops, you see all the incredible tech experiences in the Story Arcade and these big build-out installations. Simply by being invited, you are placed within a meta-narrative. And that is this active play featuring immersive one-on-one -on -one experiences with what this year is a 27-person group of actors. It's light touch, and it happens through whispers, and it happens through somebody tapping you on the arm and pulling you aside. What is a completely tech-forward storytelling space has also captured people's imagination in these very intimate, analog, one-on-one -on -one moments. FOST is, is such a pleasure to come to. It's a highlight of my year because obviously it's one of the most fertile and creative places in the world. It's a conclave of quite often bonkers ideas, which are the best ones in my opinion. We think about breaking the fourth wall in a lot of different ways. It's allowing people to have agency. By putting that agency into the audience, they now become an empowered part of the story. What ends up happening is when you mix and match the objects, it unlocks fragments in the story. If I feel actively engaged, if I care about the story because it's branching narrative and I get to choose, then you've hooked me. When technology, like let's say like VR, like a medium like that, meets immersive theater. For me, that's really strong and it makes, I'm, I say it and I still have goosebumps because I'm thinking of Alice, you know, so it's, it's very strong, it's very powerful. I feel like where VR is and where the void is right now is it's almost like the early days of Atari or something compared to where it's going to be a very simple version of, of what it could be. I came to FOSS last year. That was my first time coming. The facilitator in my workshops was a, a wonderful woman from India. We hit it off. I'm going to India in December to see her and speak at a conference in India. So that was born out of FOSS. They're not even like planned FOSS encounters. They're just FOSS, I don't know, magical moments. We're, we are inventors, we are problem solvers, we're critical thinkers. We are collectively weaving a fabric of what the future will be. These are really exciting times to be a storyteller. The changing technologies, the new platforms we have available and tools, the changing nature of the audience and how excited they are to be able to participate. And then just the general democratization and distribution and opportunities for stories. This is really a golden age of storytelling.